Good ideas are always crazy until they're not. Yo, 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 what up, what up, what up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mitz. And today I want to talk about why it's so hard to be original. Or is it? I'm not completely sure, but for me it feels like it's a bit difficult. And once again, it's the old friend, fear. I have a thought that says the fear is in the way of you being original because we have so many beliefs we have been taught stuff all our life and since you're a baby you are being taught how to do and what to do and what to wear whatever you know so on so on you know the path so how are you gonna be original? Like, who's gonna teach us that? And here is when I, I strongly, I strongly feel that we need some kind of self practice realize who we really are and what our values are and if you live by your values you're pretty much gonna be happy right because you fulfill your purpose maybe I don't know but being original I think it's about fears and there's so many things you're afraid to be and the number one thing is just to be yourself because there's so many things in yourself that other people don't want to see and they have their opinion on that like your mother or your father or your friends they have their way of seeing things and in the world today with the social media and stuff like this so i think you need to be a brave person in this world just to be yourself and to have all those inner fears just revealed the number one thing is to not compare yourself to others there is no point of comparing yourself to others the only good thing with other people is that you can get motivated by them and you admire them you feel grateful that somebody's showing you even a better way and, and you can maybe learn from that and that way you progress so I think with all this YouTube thing also it's very easy to fall in the trap of just doing the same things as other people do and I'm for sure guilty of that because when you watch videos on how to get views or how to succeed in YouTube how to do anything you're gonna give you're gonna get like a certain person's view of the thing and 
And for me, I think meditation is number one for sure in listening to myself. Other things are music, sometimes just watching TV or something like really simple and the idea pops up because you kind of let your guard down and you just be yourself when you're doing a routine kind of thing. So being yourself is facing your fears and this leads me to one of my biggest fears of my life and that's my hair and I have a thing called alopecia but that's gonna be completely out of video so I'm just trying to face my fears and free myself of my disbeliefs inside me thanks for watching see you in my next videos peace